Hey there guys and girlies, JD Man here, uh, going to do a review on the Brooks Auto Sports Panniers that you can get for the GS, KTM, lots of other bikes. Um, way more affordable than the BMW stuff uh, if you're on a budget or just don't feel like paying $1,800 for these cases. I've had this top box for about two years now. Two years now. Uh, works good. Um, like if I use the pressure washer, I may see a little bit of water get in it, but nothing bad. Uh, just a little bit, you know, a little bit of drip. But that's 1800 PSI. I don't think you're going to have any problems with the rain. You can get all the locks key to like. They'll do that for you. Um, top box was like 400 bucks. And that was with the adapter plate that you got to get. Um, all you got to do, you got this red knob here. Loosen that up. Okay. Push her forward. She picks right up off of the uh, mounting plate, this mounting plate. Uh, one thing I learned, okay, these are not manufactured on a assembly line per se that is about precision because you've got these little adapter blocks here and when I got them I just took them all apart and had them ready to put put together there well what happened is all the holes that are drilled and tapped for the screws they are not the same on each one it's like they're each block was drilled and tapped individually so only do them one at a time <laughs> okay and like i said two years winter salt stuff you can see um no corrosion and on the bottom you see there you got the they're they're a plastic type material and so you just put them in the holes, then slide it back, boom, lay your winner down, it's not going anywhere, latch, not going anywhere, got good tie down stuff there, I always put my big lunch box in there, um, sometimes it's a little big and I even, you know, have to cinch it down with the lock but no complaints so far for the money I, i'm not complaining um the side cases the side panniers these were 600 and they use the existing bmw on the gs adventure you've already you know you've got your uh, racks and they're made to work with the factory rack Okay, I got my rain gear in here. All you gotta do, these two, loosen these up. Okay. Pulls out, and just lifts right off. Okay, it just slides right on there. I'm gonna wipe that off before I put that back on. But there's the. Uh, mounting system these two things here you that's what you'll use to lock it on with the, the internal screws um, this is the first time i've had these off in over a year i thought yeah i've had these for a year and that's the first they've been off um, i I was a little worried about this mining system at first, but no problems. Uh, and it's got 
Your lights on the front and the back. I'll have that one locked. So, but uh, you can lock both and you can lift that whole lid off of there if you'd like. Uh, that, that makes it nice. You can get in either way. And you see they've got some seam sealer there around that welded seam. Again, you've got your tie downs. Um, that weld doesn't look too bad. Nice little TIG weld there. Uh, that one there looks really nice. Um, been through some pretty nasty rain in that. No problems. And these are aluminum, not stainless steel, uh, which that's the BMW ones are aluminum. The stainless would be too heavy. Um, but yeah, I just these yellow stickers come with it. I get two of them for each uh, pannier, and I I put the other ones on myself. I just went to Harbor Freight and got that. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying 3M. Um, but I'm just going to sit it back on here and show you. Just sit that on. Push down. Okay. Get there, tighten that down, and tighten that down. You got your little lock nut there, but not going anywhere. So, for a thousand bucks, you can get yourself a nice set of panniers and have that eight hundred dollars to go and spend on something else. And I just got my uh, tech spec snake skins on, tank grips, see how they work out. Um, so, highly recommend these. The people there at Brooks were very good to deal with. I had no complaints with their customer service. Uh, just let them know, you know, that you were buying, you want to uh, have matching locks. The locks all have numbers on them so like if you didn't like i did and you buy one and then buy the other just give them the number off the lock and they'll put those blanks and you know those cylinders in there and you'll be good to go so all right hope you enjoyed this video be sure to give us a thumbs up did if not you can give us a thumbs down and be sure to subscribe we'd like to get some subs here and so we can get to hit that thousand uh, and this is the first of reviews I want to try and do some more you know I'm not going in really in depth here trying to keep it short but I'm just telling you and you can see like I said year and a half and that and two year good two years for that and no troubles no complaints good customer service and I don't know if you can see there how the uh, latching system works so I recommend them if you're not worried about having the brand BMW which you know I'd rather have that extra 800 bucks to spend on other stuff but if you want to keep true and buy the bmw good for you man <laughs> i'm not going to fault you for it you know you, everybody's got to do what they got to do so thanks again for watching this is jd man stay safe out there check back peace